I had my transplant on the 11th of January this year, so about 14 weeks ago now. Um, how long did you have to wait on the transplant list? Uh, not very long at all. I was, I was only on nine weeks in the end. Originally, they said four to six months, um, but I had a, a super urgent child came up um, and they needed to do a split liver transplant, um, which boosted me up the list, which was nice. I think I was one of the more healthier people on the list to be able to take the split liver and obviously it was a match as well. So yeah, nine weeks in total. It's a weird experience. You're not allowed to travel. Um, you can't go too far away from the hospital. You are kind of on tender hooks that the phone could ring at any time. Um, I think I, I was fortunate that I didn't have any kind of um, cancellations or you know, missed calls or anything like that. Um, but it's just a, you're in a kind of bubble really. Um, I didn't really kind of accept that I was on the waiting list until I actually got the call to say I was having the transplant. It was just a really surreal kind of experience, to be honest. I've got two kids, so um, being able to have the energy, which, which has come back now more recently, uh, you know, has been fantastic. And, and also just knowing that I can get up in the mornings uh, and not be struggling with PSC, not be struggling with the tiredness, not struggling with the UC, like the ulcerative colitis as well. Um, that's making a big difference already. You know, even after kind of 14 weeks. So I think, you know, I'm feeling stronger by the day. And although I don't feel too much different um, kind of mentally or physically than I did pre-transplant, I kind of feel better. I feel like I've got more energy um, and, and hopefully that will go on to, you know, be more and more.